while older persons have a higher risk of contracting and being adversely affected by COVID-19, especially those who have pre-existing medical conditions like diabetes, hypertension, kidney, cancer, and heart conditions. In light of this, the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services is asking the general public and family members in particular to be especially vigilant in their interactions with older persons to ensure their protection. The Ministry of Social Development and Family Services said it is important to note that close contact with children on a frequent basis may place older persons at a heightened risk. It is reminding the public and particularly older persons who may be living on their own of the general guidelines which includes proper hygiene, social distancing and self-quarantine. The ministry said it will be making every effort to ensure that the necessary protocols are carried out at its local social welfare district offices, at senior activity centers and homes for older persons under its remit. It has listed several measures for family members, caregivers at private residences or workers at senior citizen homes, institutions and activity centers. They're asking that you know what medications your loved one is taking and assist them to have extra on hand. Know the symptoms of COVID-19 and where and when to call for help. Medication should include vitamins C and B. Monitor food and other medical supplies needed and create a backup plan. Stock up on non-perishable food items to have on hand in your home to minimize trips to the stores. If you have a loved one in a care facility, monitor the situation, ask about the health of the other residents frequently, know the protocol for visiting hours and visits should be limited to immediate family members as much as possible, and remember that social connections are very important at this time. Use traditional and new methods of communication to stay in touch. Older persons are encouraged to take the following everyday preventative actions. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use a hand sanitizer. Avoid touching high-touch surfaces in public places. Avoid touching your face, nose, eyes, etc. Avoid close contact or visits from people who are sick. Try to reschedule non-essential medical appointments or have home visits conducted. And avoid crowds, especially in poorly ventilated spaces. Instead of visiting the Social Development Ministry offices, they've created a special hotline, the Older Persons Hotline, at 800 OPIC 1405. It's available for all seniors between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, DGT News.